Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be building the new restaurant for the Burger Boys. If you haven't been watching, Dr. Gluon and I have been doing a Sims 4 multiplayer dine out reloaded series where we're running a restaurant and building an empire. We're ready to buy and build the next level. And we have decided that it's going to be barn themed, like a big old country barn. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be building. And it's going to be here in San Sequoia. So, you know, it's for all the city folk to come and enjoy the barn lifestyle. So let's, uh, I've, got, I've got like an idea of what I want to do. So I'm just going to, I'm going to start building it and we'll see where we end up. I'm not sure how big I want it to be. I want to leave a little bit of room on the lot because we, we need some gardening space, I think. That's probably fine. I don't think I'm going to do like a decorative parking lot like we did in our last build. Because while that is fun, it'll take up a lot of space on this lot. And this lot's not that big. It's a 40 by... 20 lot. So it's longer than our previous lot, but it's also shorter than our previous lot. All right, so we're just going classic barn to start off with. Let me just get rid of these eaves and we're gonna line it up. Oh, I can't, <laughs> it's too steep. I can't go any steeper. All right, I either make the wall shorter or longer, the, the roof longer. I think I'll just make the wall shorter though. We have a nice classic barn rooftop. Yeah, they got a perfect join. Just copy this over the other side. So, I mean, the, the basic shape here is the the easy part of the build. Actually, I think I want to pull these out a bit more. Just have like a little indented section down the bottom. I like that. And you know what? I guess this wall will come out too. So this will like overlap the lower level. Just so we have a little bit of extra like detailing downstairs. Okay, that's looking like a Burger Boys barn. Now I have prepared some custom wallpaper for the barn. I, oh, uh, it's in here. I don't know. Am I going to use this? It, it's very pink because that is the Burger Boys way. We are pink, but I, do I want the whole restaurant to be pink like this? You know, <laughs> is that too much? Well, whilst we decide on that, let's get to a more barn looking roof. That's a little bit better. And then I want to do some, I think the country, uh, country kitchen kit flooring just to the outside, just to surround the barn. Then we can have some nice details around the outside. I think it'll look really good. So I think that'll be the main space Then over here. So this is where I want to do some gardening and I think we'll do the oversized crops. I also want like a little bit of a driveway because we do have this section here. So I think maybe I'll do this. So you could like have like something come up here and park and then around the edge, I might edge this off with some, do some head, how, how much are these? 135. We do have a budget by the way, we've got 48,000 simoleons. I might actually go debug and just get these hedges for free so I don't have to pay for it. I think I like that. Um, all right, so then I did also prepare a custom content <laughs> vehicle is the Burger Boys truck that we're gonna have parked out here. Now I kind of want it to be, so obviously we drive in here and then we're gonna park here, but I, I kind of want it to knock, have like knocked something over, be squishing something. So we'll have to come back to that, but I think that'll, that'll be there. Ooh, then I think I want a fence like this, like a little, oh, that's, I need one that's, oh yeah, more solid, here we go, like something like this. Cause we'll have like the farm area. Actually, maybe this, that's kind of cool. Maybe we could have the truck run into this fence here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I just moved it further down cause I, I, there was no reason to have it like here and waste all that space. Anyway, so now the garden, what I want to do is I want to use platforms. How much space do I have here? We could probably do it like this. I kind of want them to look like almost like veggie boxes. That's how many we can fit. I kind of want this to be, maybe do that. So the same driveway thing, like a thin driveway, but you know, we can, we can still get up there. I was using this, oh my God, it's huge. As like a garden bed kind of thing over there. So I'm going to do the same thing here. It just looks sort of nice and finishes it off a bit more. And then we can put these hedges in it. And we could always change it to something else later on if we want to upgrade, but I think that's pretty nice. I guess we don't need this. There's no point. Just have it like that. So the driveway, you know, it's a little wider than it needs to be, but uh, it works. So this is our veggie patch. I'm just, oops, going to make all these have dirt and they will all have like a little wooden box. That's what I want it to look like. So I would like to make a bigger, like sort of higher off the ground so it looks like a big veggie planter, but that actually won't work. I have tested this setup though using the oversized crop these. So your Sims can still use these and plant on them. So that it looks like we have like this little veggie garden patch and we can grow all our stuff here. So that should be fun. And you know, I feel like that adds to the theme. <laughs> I think that's really cool. So I'll decorate that a bit more later, but let's maybe do the restaurant stuff. So front door wise, could do the cottage living barn door. 
well, it's not a barn door, is it? It's just a big door, but it kind of, I guess, goes to the thing. So I go there. I wish you could have the doors just like permanently open. I think that would look really nice. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do like signage and stuff there. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna do windows directly. You know what? I need to go inside and figure out the layout because that's kind of important. Let's get some lights going on. I think that's, well, okay. We need somewhere to live. We need obviously the restaurant area, the kitchen, bathrooms. We need live animals. That was one of the things we wanted. So like cows or chickens. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do this second level, I'm gonna use, I guess the cottage living fence. Um, we're gonna sleep up here. So I'm gonna actually to there and then I'm gonna come straight down here. And we're gonna have this whole middle section here open. So not the whole second floor, but this will give us a uh, place to live upstairs. So we'll, we'll live in the roof of the place. Uh, and then this, I might actually bring that out. So we can have a flat wall there at the back. I think that'll work. And then we're gonna use the werewolf columns, I think, because they look a little bit more rustic. Might go one smaller maybe, so we can get this in the middle. Then we could have three columns in a row and then it like lines up nicely. Uh, we can't do it here, but I guess we'll just leave it. Okay, so then we have a nice big barn area. Very, very good. So I want like a stage at the back because, so I'm basing this kind of off the Simpsons episode where they go to that steakhouse, which is called the Slaughterhouse as a restaurant, which horrible name, funny though, classic Simpsons. Um, and they had like a stage where they'd do the eating competition where you'd have to eat the, what is that, 32 ounce steak, I think it was. So I wanted to have a stage here, which we could use for that, or we could do like musical performances. I don't know, other shenanigans. I'm sure this stuff will figure out. So I think I'll have, I'm gonna just have it run all the way along. And actually, you know what, I'll do it like this. Yeah, so behind there, I actually think I want a solid wall, maybe. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but then I, I definitely want some big windows up top. I'm just using this wall for now. I don't know if I'll keep this. I think it's quite nice, actually. I was originally thinking of doing this werewolf's wall, but I think that's maybe a little too rough. So, you know, we've got good money. Like, it should be a nice restaurant. And it's supposed to be themed like a barn, so you need it to feel that way, but I don't want it to actually be run down. You know what I mean? All right, windows. I think we could actually do like modern barn conversion kind of stuff. Actually, could we fit? Maybe we could do small windows up the top and then have like giant, like bigger windows on top maybe. Like something like that. I know those windows don't match, but I'm just testing. Uh, I kind of wanted more wall space behind though. Or we just do the windows further to the side so we have more room in the middle, you know? Like we could do that and then bigger windows up the top. Oh, right spot. I like the idea of having our logo up on this wall somewhere here. And then we could have like the photos of people that have, um, I don't know, beat the challenge or something. Maybe for now we could just do like, I know that's like a diploma, but just like sort of pub steakhouse-y, I don't know, plaques and stuff up on the wall so that we get the vibe we're going for. <gasps> There's a cow, <laughs> yeah. And then we, can, then we can swap these out with other stuff later on, custom content or whatever. There you go, just stuff like this. I might lower these this side down a bit. I don't know, it kind of feels like we've got the aesthetic I'm after. Plaques and stuff on the wall achievements, etc. And then yeah, we can we can change this for something else later, but I think that'll be a good little start. Yeah. Now, yeah, I, I'm not sure about these windows. I think maybe it might be better just to not have windows there and just have big windows at the top because I'm not really feeling those side windows. We could have like a big open window. That's kind of cool. I do actually think maybe these new windows could be quite good. Or actually, may maybe the eco windows actually will be good because they got that sort of angle on them. They sort of stick out like that. That's kind of cool. And then on the outside, maybe if I do like, oh, it doesn't line up. So we need some like sort of detailing maybe. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. It just gives it sort of a little bit more substantial stuff going on. I know obviously we'll decorate the outside too, but I think that's all right on the back. Um, up the top here, I need to do, actually just a floor so I can get the same trim, that white trim around it. Yeah, cool. All right, um, I did the same thing at the front here. Uh, maybe not actually, hang on. <laughs> oh, okay. I think what I need to do is maybe actually have this just be a smaller section like that. Then I can just trim that bit. Yeah, there you go. That, that's a bit better. Uh, and that one's fine. Cool. And I'll do the same columns at the front, maybe. I don't know if the columns will be annoying though. So the other thing I want to do while building this is I imagine us playing in this lot from this perspective. So I want to look this way into the lot. So anything that's in here, I'm going to go this way. I don't want to have to be like spinning around and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So as long as these don't get in the way, I'm happy with them here. Oh, I guess it actually has to be here. You know what? Let's just do multiple. What does that look like? 
When I say let's do multiple, is that annoying? Potentially, because you see what I mean? They're sort of just in the way. Hmm. They do look good though. Let's leave them for now. We can always remove them. All right, back inside. I'm pretty happy with this little stage setup. So I think I want the stage to be a nice rustic wood, but maybe the floor will make potentially even like a concrete kind of thing. Like it or like kind of like it is, but maybe a bit different, maybe more like, because if it's like a barn, it'd just be on like a slab of concrete, really. Maybe even just that, because I think it looked pretty cool with decorations on top of it. And obviously the walls and, and decorations everywhere. Now where's this section's here. I kind of want to, can I put that there? Is that going to be annoying? So I kind of want a fireplace. That'd probably be annoying if it's going to be in the way. I, I probably want it off to the side. Okay, before we do anything else, I want to have a cow in here, maybe. Maybe I should get the custom content that removes the big shed so we can just have a cow roaming. Okay, so I just downloaded the mod where we can have free range cows and all that. So they'll hang out in here. We can build like an inside a uh, little stable. I don't know how, how many can I get? Can I get another one? Sold. Oh, the heck. I mean, this mud adds a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, let me just get this one, for example. <laughs> yeah. And then I did like a little feeding spot here. So you place these markers down. Like this is the animal shelter. And then there, here's like the feeding spot. So we could create a little fenced off area, like a, almost like a petting zoo. Have the cows there. This is, yeah, this is good. This is really, really good. Okay. So I've, I've just... You know, gone back here because I didn't want to, to be all raining and miserable. But that's good. So now I, what, what I want to do, let's have a look. So yeah, we're going to live up here. We'll have to get some access in a minute. Maybe we can do, well, I think the animals will be over here, right? I like the idea of like archways, but we're never going to see that. It's always going to be down like that and then the lighting's different. So let's just get rid of the wall. It's going to be the easiest way to go ahead, I think. Now I would like to create like a little shelter for the, the cow so they have like somewhere they can go in. Uh, I wonder, can I use, oh, wait, we could do like, yeah, yeah, we could create almost like a little shed. Hang on, this, this is cool. So if I go like this, so this is where the cows can go back in and have their privacy. And maybe we could put like hay in there and then we'll do like uh, maybe the archway like this. Can we do like a little roof? <laughs> The problem is, so when we put the walls down, it'll look like that. So I think I might actually change that into a half wall. So when the walls are down, it looks like this. So if we're playing, that'll always still be up and we can sort of see the little shed. I think that's maybe too big. I, I might just make it the smaller size. And then I think we'll just do like a little fan stuff area, really. Make it grass. There you go. So they can sort of free range out over there. The free range shelter marker. Place this marker in a sheltered room or pen. Designate as a safe place. This marker will unlock a Palooza plant. Cool. Yeah, so that'll just be in here. And then and I'll just do like a feeding area out here. So they'll sort of wander out here, eat, and then they go back in. And that's good. So I might add a door here to get to the outside. Just because otherwise to get over here, we kind of have to like walk all the way around. Or maybe I guess, actually let's do a gate for our pen area so we can at least get in there. And then maybe we can do a door through here. So it's sort of, you don't really see it. So it's like, you know, a little back of house door. Yeah, a little sheltered, uh, <laughs> a little barn door over there. So then, yeah, that'll give us access out there. So we can sort of walk through rather than out the front and around. I don't know if it's that much quicker, but I don't know, it makes sense to me. I don't know if I want to do windows on the side there. I don't think so. I think I'll do some windows at the front though. There you go, something like that. That's pretty good. And I'll get the same Burger Boys logo. I think maybe that should be a different color because the pink kind of blends into it. You know what I mean? Could even do this new metal wall that has a pink color. Just like a lighter pink maybe? No, I don't like that. Maybe that same wall just in a white. I think that works. That's like painted white there. Burger Boys logo. Then at the back, maybe we should do something similar. Hang on. But instead of this big full logo, Oh, actually, no, we can do the full logo just down here. Why don't we just do that? Maybe with the white? Yeah, we could do that. Oh, no, nah, we'll leave it pink at the back. That's nice. We need our big uh, sign as well, for sure. So I think I'll do maybe, I guess, on this corner. Because then you can sort of see it coming down this road here. You can also see it from the park area. You know, you're like, oh, there's the Burger Boys. And I guess you can kind of see it from over here, but... Not really, it's better from this side. But I mean, this is the front of the lot anyway, so I think that works. Okay, so with all this space, we've only got like this left for the kitchen and that, which I think should be fine. It's maybe a little small. Oh, there's a wall going through that window. You know what, we can make it bigger. I only made it that wide so it matched the other side. It doesn't have to be. I could make it like push in more to, to where it was to here. So I might make this area with the windows like where the bathroom section is. Like that'll be where you walk in and then maybe we could have like a couple individual bathrooms or something like this. Kind of want stone tiles for the bathroom. I don't know, I feel like that fits the vibe. So I'm gonna do, I think the exterior walls are this wood paneling, but then I think the interior walls, maybe this should be, this should be something else. Maybe a little bit more, <laughs> I could do sheet metal like this. That definitely fits the vibe. Or maybe like just the cleaner looking metal. Maybe we can upgrade in the let's play to this, but we'll start off with that. <laughs> Bathroom and doing these tiles, not the nicest, but you know, like I said, 
We gotta, we gotta upgrade. We gotta work to it. So this is just the starting point. I feel like we need like saloon doors that go, boop, 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 you know, <laughs> when you walk through them. We'll just do that for now. A little bathroom signage. We can make it more white so it's a bit easier to see. There you go. That's the bathroom. It's a little awkward with that space, but maybe I'll change that. We'll see. I'm just trying to get a general feel so far. I also need a way for us to get upstairs. And at this point, I'm thinking it's just a ladder, to be honest. Glorn and I can just climb up here. I do it over the other side, so it's not right next to that uh, that door. It doesn't get in the way. And I guess what I'll do is maybe upstairs have like a gate. Oops. Just so we can lock it. So people don't walk into our house. <laughs> have a little gate up there. All right, so that, that'll allow Glorn and I to get up here and live. And then that leaves this whole area here for the kitchen, which I think this is actually pretty good. This is quite spacious. I'm happy with that. All right, so I think we got the general layout look and feel. I guess I should probably do um, these windows on the other side as well, because I don't know, I feel like it should probably be similar. Is that where they were? Oh no. So there's three planks in from, no, four planks in from there, four from that side. So four from there and four from there. That still doesn't look right. Oh wait, no, 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 it's from here, right. Sorry, there we go, that's where it's supposed to. I forgot this side is a little bit different. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I wanna do anything on the side. I mean, I, I, guess I could do side windows if we do like, I feel like I want them to be smaller, like up higher. Where are the bathrooms? I don't want this to be in the bathrooms. I think if I go there, how far in is that? That's quite a bit, four tiles in. So if we go like there, yeah, that'll be right. It is a barn, it wouldn't have like a bunch of windows in it, so. Though having said that, we built this for the purpose of a restaurant so you could easily put windows in. But you know, that's not the feel we're going for. That doesn't look very good there, does it? Maybe we'll just get rid of that one. Or we just do it a little bit different on this side. It's like that. It's different to the other side, but that's fine. You know, different uses. Those ones are actually lower too, so I'm gonna lower that down. I think this is looking really good. I don't know what's going on. Oh, the is the gate like sticking through the wall for some reason? They're glitching through the wall, interesting. Well, if that keeps doing that, we might change that. But for now, we'll leave it. This is coming along. I like this. I like this a lot. So this is our kitchen area. We'll do one of these flappy doors. I think I'll do it here. Now this is not going to be a restaurant where customers pick up their own food. So I think we'll be doing it out like, like cooking it in the kitchen and then serving it as waiters to the table. I'm actually going to do doors on both sides, you know. Very, very efficient kitchen. You know what? I'm going to use the new wall from uh, Growing Together. I don't want it to be too... We need a bit of color in this place. So I want... Oh, wait, pink. Yes! Actually, that's perfect. Burger Boys. That is actually really good. <laughs> do some dirty tiles. <laughs> hey, we got to... There has to be a reason we're doing this restaurant, you know? Part of this Let's Play is working and upgrading and, and we have to pay for renovations. Like, we have to achieve certain monetary goals. So maybe one of that is the flooring in the kitchen. I don't know. This is... Uh, it's all figuring it out here, you know? No. All right, so in here, we do have a bit of a ceiling here, so we could do, I do like these lights actually. And actually, we can, I can hang it off the side here somewhere. All down the side should be all right. Yeah, yeah. So why don't we go three tiles in from that side, three from there and in the middle. So three tiles there, right there and there. Let me get rid of these temporary lights so we can see how much light we're actually working with. Now I think I can light this, oh, those columns are in completely different places. How long has it been like that? My bad, sorry guys. That was probably super annoying for like a really long time. If I have lights here uh, in between these columns, is that going to be... Oh, yeah, that's good for the stage. I could go here and here. Yeah, so then my idea is I'm going to put a spandrel in between the columns like that. There you go. And that means those lights can like hang off that. Yeah, black is probably best. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so they're hanging off that lighting, that central section. So we can have a nice stage area. And I think we can put wall lights like on the columns, on the columns. Oh, I guess the only downside to this, I just thought about it, is I think if the, the walls are down, and even if, oh, I guess that's fine. It gives a bit of atmosphere. I don't know if I like those lights though. Maybe they're a bit big. They stick out a lot. Do you like these new lights? Maybe if I go, oh, if you go too high, it doesn't produce enough light. It has to be like here. Yeah, never mind. What about these ones? These look Barney. They're pretty good up to this height. So let's try that. Oh, and we could also put lights on the actual tables, like little candles or something, or some other table light. So I guess I should remember to do that too. Okay, so we still have a dark patch in the middle. That's all right. We'll, we'll fix that in a minute. Now for this area over here, maybe we could, no, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use like spot lights. It's a bit much. We could do these lantern ones again. These are good. Maybe just have some of those on the wall as well. And we'll do one in the enclosure just so there's like light in here. Okay, cool. And then the kitchen, I mean, this doesn't need to be that themed. I'll just do these little lights. And I might do the same in the bathroom just so it's bright. Cause yeah, we're, the, the main themed area is sort of here. Now I'm wondering if I should turn this into a half wall. 
so that we can see that when the walls are down. So we can have like the, the distinction of the kitchen and the dining area because they look very different. I might actually do that. And then that means we can also decorate this wall with pictures and posters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so just create, so like when we're playing, oh, that ladder's really annoying there actually. I don't know about that. I might need to change it. I could put it sideways like that. Cause I don't know, I'm just imagining when we're playing, we're looking this way. I just don't want that huge ladder blocking the way. Like, I think this is pretty good. See the cow area nicely. See the kitchen nicely. And actually when you're in the kitchen, you get this nice wall here too, where you can see it. So I think that's quite good. So wait. All right, upstairs in the rafters where the Burger boys are gonna live. I think we'll just do that for lighting for now and then we'll have to upgrade and buy more stuff, you know? All right, let me get the actual restaurant stuff. So. We're gonna use these chef stations here. So we're gonna so you walk in here. You know what? Let's get uh some waiter stations. I'm gonna get a few just right by each door. So you like walk in and you can dump stuff right away. Like that. And then the chef station, maybe we could have them sort of around. This is a really big kitchen. It probably doesn't need to be this big. We can we can put something else there. It doesn't have to be this big. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's do it. Let's do it like the Shake Shack that I downloaded, where they had them sort of lined up like this. I think that's quite good because then you then people can just walk and grab the stuff of there and walk out again. And I think we can have up to three. So I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna pay for three right away, but it's gonna be like that. I get some nasty counters in here too. I feel like this would be a really good place to have like like you when you finish you know when you finish I mean this isn't what you'd use, but you'd finish the meals, you put them there like in the middle. You'd have the heat lamps over it or something like that. Maybe I can build something similar to that. Like uh, I don't know what it's called because I'm I don't work in restaurants. I never have, but like. Maybe the pass? No. Well, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I just want somewhere where you could like plonk the food down. I know they won't, they'll just put it on these, but you know, if, we, if we've got space to fill, I may, I may as well fill it, make it look restaurant-y, you know? So then we're gonna go on these, maybe, oh, little big. Maybe these ones. Oh, maybe, uh, ugh, it's like a little, what if I scale it down a little bit? Yeah, that could work. Also doubles as providing light for the room. But yeah, the idea is like, that's where you put down the meals when they're ready. Got a nice big, it's probably a little big, isn't it? <laughs> but that's what it is for now. Actually, I think I have, uh, oh no, I used to have a bugged out um, serving tray. Yeah, put a plate there, there you go. <laughs> okay, this kitchen's probably too big, but I don't know if that's really a problem. Could just add more decorations around the back, maybe. Does mean this area gets smaller and smaller. We just do one table here instead of like multiple. We could do like a, a serving window here maybe then. Cause like if this is where you, the, the meals are sitting under the heat lamp, you have like this as like a little serving window. you like, order up, ding, ding. And so you'd still have, the, obviously customers won't collect there, but just for decoration, let's do that. And then down the back, I was just kind of kind of do counters. I don't know if this is just asking for trouble, but I don't know, adds a little little something something. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that space or really any of that space, but I'll, I'll get we'll get feedback from Gluon, I think before we fully go ahead with all of this. Now let's let's. Oh, I kind of wish this toilet was cheaper and worse because <laughs> it looks like a really good like old toilet. You know what? I might get rid of these little rooms. I don't think we need these. And it's also kind of awkward with the door there. I'm just going to use the actual cubicles because I think we can fit those in here. Yeah, we got room for these. Let's do these. That'll be better. And these, we can make them look really bad. So that's good. Oh yes, pink with graffiti. Perfect. I'll just do two counters there that will have the sinks in it. There you go. And one broken mirror in between them. <laughs> <laughs> and let's get someone's dentures that are left here because we're because the burger boys this is our only bathroom as well so we kind of use this to get ready in the morning the question is whose dentures are they are they mine or gluons we get a little toothpaste there as well <laughs> that's funny oh the burger boys do need a shower don't we maybe we could do a little shower stall at the end there we go so we can come around there and shower you know it's a little bit of privacy maybe we could do like a little um let's move these along so it fits a bit better <laughs> it used to be well it used to be you know uh, fogged over, but now it's it's uh, not anymore. I, I also don't know. I'm only using this door because it looks really gross, but it, it obviously doesn't make any sense for a shower stall. But there you go. There's our shower. <laughs> I like how the kitchen the kitchen okay the kitchen wall looks way too nice. I'm gonna be honest. I gotta change this. I really like this. I think we will upgrade to this wall, but we can't start here. We can't. There you go. Much more drab. We'll we'll upgrade. Don't worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, we got these beautiful custom cow tables. I, I I don't know if we should have these in this restaurant. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. No. No. We will have them. Uh, how do the chairs fit in these again? Well, so I feel like pink chairs will be good. Oh, hang on. We well, we've got custom burger stools, but I think these burger stools were kind of more for the fast food restaurant. I don't really think it fits here. I still think the cow tables work, but I feel like we need pink chairs for the Burger Boys branding, you know? 
Pink chairs that fit in a barn, what we need. Hmm. None of these feel super barn-like. I mean, maybe these, but this is supposed to be a step up from a fast food restaurant. And this does not, that chair does not look like a step up. You know what I mean? Yeah, let me turn this off. Maybe we might have just have to make a quick custom recolor of a chair. So let's see what kind of chair do we want here? Potentially these ones. I think these are quite good. It does make the cow look a little small. Like they, maybe chairs look a little too big though. Like see how this chair just like looks physically smaller cause it's not as chunky. We need something that's not, doesn't look too big, but also feels like a barn. That's kind of fun. I mean, maybe we go with the werewolf chair, but we we do a recolor and make it like, because if I just do like this one and change, like do a little hue saturation shift in Photoshop, can probably make it pink. Like, what do we think of that? Oh, I guess they, actually this cottage living one, maybe this is a little bit better. Because maybe what we could do is, um, hang on, which wood tone? We get like the dark wood chair and then I just make the cushion pink. I think that might look quite nice. Let's try that. I'm going to try that one. Okay, here we go. We've got the Burger Boys barn chair. It's basically, basically the same chair. It's the same price. I didn't change the price because I figured that would be a little cheaty. The $90, they're not the cheapest chairs, but now we've got a pink uh, color swatch. It's going to fit our branding. So let's just get some tables in around the place, I suppose. You know, I guess if we're, I'm going to put one there. I think that should be okay with the, the column. Let me, I'm just going to put some tables around and then I'll figure out exactly how it's all going to work. I think we should, you know what, actually, here's what we're going to do. I want to have, so in Carl's dine out mod, we can actually have dining groups that are bigger than the default. So in the default Sims dine out groups, I believe are between maybe even one. I think it's two to three is usually who will always come and dine at the restaurant. In Carl's mod, you can set it up to eight. So we could have a really long table filled with people. And I wanna try having one large table in this restaurant. I think that'll be really fun. So I think, why don't we do these tables on the sides and then we could do like a big table down the middle or something. Let me just go around and put all these chairs on. Well, this is eating into our budget for sure, but you know, it's gonna be worth it. So we've got the six tables. Move that one a little closer to that as well. I want these like sort of on the edge as much as possible so that we have plenty of room in the middle. All right, then of course, we, we, let's change up some of these tables. So we've got a few different colors of cows. Actually, I wonder, would these, oh yeah, I forgot these are different chairs. I was gonna say, if we mix these in between green and the sort of that color, do we want to do that? No, I might leave it all pink. I'll leave it all pink. So we're going to go, we'll go black cow, then we'll go pink cow, then we'll go rainbow cow. I'm going to do rainbow cow here, and then we'll do pink cow there, and then yeah, the black cow. Oh wait, no, 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 I'll swap it. Pink and then black. So we have the, all the different cow variants. <laughs> and then I want one big table. It's got to be rustic barn style. I mean, this Tartosa one, not barn, not rustic barn specifically. I mean, it kind of is. That's why I kind of like it. That could actually be a really nice table. It's got pink. Well, I don't think pink makes a whole lot of sense. Probably probably just the, the default wood. And then, then we could have a big table with that could seat groups up to eight Sims on one table. No, let's do, let's start off with six, I reckon. So we can up our limit to six. Put that like there. I think that'll be fun. So we got loads of dining. So last time we also had six tables. So we haven't got any additional tables. Uh, I'm just putting out a little, I made these custom numbers so we, when Gluon and I are playing together, we know which table's which. Um, actually, I'll go, I'll go, let's go, let's go across. Let's go like one, what? No, actually not. We'll go, yeah, one, two, three. And then on this side, I'll go four, five, and six. And then the big table, table seven. And I should probably face these all like this way. Cause if it, like I said, if we're, if we're designing this to play facing this way, I want to be able to see all the numbers. <laughs> we definitely need like rugs. For sure. Oh, where's that? Yeah, these, this sort of smattering. I think, I feel like these rugs are like perfect for this environment. I don't want them to be like too bright and colorful. Like I, I kind of want them to blend into the floor. So I think that's a good, that's a good option. I'm gonna do a little, some little flowers over here maybe. You know, just for funsies. Okay, this is looking good. We got plenty of space over here. I could add some more like tables or we could make the, the paddock a little bit bigger, which maybe, maybe we'll do that. We'll have it. Oh, hang on. I was going to do move objects because it's about to destroy that. There we go. We got two or just one? Maybe do two. Yeah, let's do that for now. Because again, we can, we can change this. Like we can make it smaller. We can make it bigger later on, whatever we need to do. But that'll be nice. It gives more room for the cows. <laughs> Dang it. Half, half walls are so annoying. They always depaint. That side's fine. Actually, this side should probably be the same. I'll do that. And then the little cow shed. Oh yeah, this window. I kind of forgot about that. Um, I mean, it's all right. It's not ideal, but I'm just gonna leave that. So let's do, whoops, do like a microphone thing up here so we can like, you know, we can chat to everyone in the restaurant. Thanks everyone for coming out today. We really appreciate it. And then we can have a good old fashioned hoedown. 
Oh, we don't have, I wish we had banjos. That'd be great, wouldn't it? I'm gonna use this guitar because that looks like it fits better. Kind of want to use a new piano too. Just because just we have a new piano. Like, I don't know if it, I don't think it makes sense. I know that's also kind of blocking those stairs, but we can get up this way. I just like the idea of it being there for a hoedown. <laughs> I kind of like the default, so I might just leave that. It's kind of fun. All right, we do need more lights for sure. Like definitely in the middle. So maybe this table. We need one that has um, like hopefully people like it, you know, like the look of it. Not not you guys. I mean, you guys should like it too, but like the, the customers, they need to like the stuff, you know. Um, it is dark here. Maybe we can do some more. We could do another spandrel here and add some hanging lights. Oh, actually, we don't even need to. I mean, there's definitely, we can just hang another light here easily. Yeah, there's no reason I couldn't actually. Um, I just realized like how off center that table is. I don't know if I, it doesn't have to be in the center, but I think it makes sense. All right, then I guess we need the host stand, right? Which I suppose can just be like here. Like as you come, like you just literally come in and it's like right here. It's kind of in the way though. I might put it to the side just here. So it's not like blocking fully. And as always, we do need a bench. It is customary in our restaurant to have benches that people will sit on and not eat now. Okay, so I mean, I'm pretty happy. I need to decorate this area a bit more too. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I guess we can do like some hay bales and that kind of stuff. We'll do that in a minute. It, it, everything's kind of bare bones because through the let's play, we'll add stuff. So we, we don't want it fully finished anyway right now. Um, oh my gosh, we need, Gluon and I need sleeping bags. This is, this is how we're gonna sleep at the moment until we can, <laughs> <laughs> until we can afford more furniture. We've just, we've bought the barn and we've built it. That's all we can afford. We got sleeping bags. <laughs> all right, let's do some, I'm pretty sure cottage living is gonna be the aesthetic, right? On the outside. Uh, search, hello. Can I go back to normal? Uh-oh, uh, whoa, okay, that lagged. All right, cottage living. So this is a, you can sit on this, right? That's a chair, yeah, comfort one. Uh, well, I want some of the live edit stuff. Yeah, we need like this out the front. Oh, one of these, yeah. I guess this could go in in the um, cow pan for decoration. A little sign out front, get one of these. Just kind of get stuff that looks like we're in a, you know, we're in cottage living. <laughs> Ooh, one of these things too. I'll put it over the side so it's not like fully in the way. These are purely decorative, you know, give us the, the look and feel. Might actually move this that way, put that one there. But this is the debug hay bale. I'm gonna put these ones in. There you go, nice little pile over there. I fully expect those to bug out and get deleted at some point, but that's fine. Oh, we could do this. Oh, I was gonna say, it looks like a water trough because it kind of does, but it's got dirt in it, so it doesn't. <laughs> Although these are very nice, actually. We could use these for plants out the front for sure. I think that totally fits the vibe. A few of those. I do a couple of these by the door and we get some stuff in there, move that thing. Keep the bench. There we go, yellow, contrast the pink quite nicely. Oh yeah, well, now we've obviously got to get some wall decorations. So let's go Burger Boys, because we got a lot of Burger Boys stuff. We definitely need the um, missing poster for Tim Apple. Should we make it big? No, it's too big. Get one of those there. Uh, we'll get our opening hours. I might make this one bigger. <laughs> Business hours. Actually, can I get a... Hang on. I know this is technically like an interactable thing that you put uh, postcards on, but I was wondering if I could get it to fit this. Maybe I kind of just wanted it to look like these were stuck on a uh, like a notice board kind of thing. Maybe they need to go somewhere else. I'll figure that out. I think I might do another Burger Boy sign over here above our little serving window, just so we have you know more of the branding around the place. I think it makes sense. Or we need our little um, little humble beginnings photo. Maybe I'll put it up here. Maybe this is where we can have like. Well, actually, no, we'll never see that. I, I, like I said, I want to see this stuff. Maybe we just add us to the back wall. <laughs> there we are. We'll have to get another photo. I might do the missing posters. Maybe just inside the door because we won't. Really Really see those but you know I like them being there Now we do have menu boards but this is definitely more of a fast food food truck kind of thing so I don't know if I'll use these here um, and then that's kind of it I think wait hang on no it's not let me just go make sure we have um, our little order sign so this is this here is how many orders we will have in the queue so this is important for us to see so we know how many uh, people are waiting. We're gonna do one there and I'll do one in the kitchen as well. So if we're playing like this, we can see there's one there and then maybe the other one can go. Well, we can, can, we, we can do like multiple. That's probably too many. Does that scale? No. <laughs> I'll just do one there for now and one there. So we've got a couple. Oh, we got the Burger Boys placemat. So unfortunately these kind of block people eating. I love the placemats but they can't eat when, there's on, when they're on a table, so we can't really use those. Could have a cool Burger Boy like umbrella over this stuff, just for funsies. Think I might get another bench over here. I wish we could have like had hay on the floor. 
Because like I, I do like a nice hay bedding kind of thing in here, but there's not real. I mean, there's sand, but I could maybe do. Like I just wanted to look nice and comfy for the cows, you know. I also don't really know what else to place in here. I guess I could do some bushes or shrubs or something. I just do. One, I mean, I'll just do like one bush. I, I don't want to overdo it. Like I don't want to put a bunch of plants in there. I think we'll do that. That's a grazing area. Maybe we'll do like a little bit of a um, little bush here, and maybe one over here as well. Just so there's like a little bit of greenery, you know. And now maybe like an out outdoor light post might look nice. Like this outdoor retreat one is actually oh it fits actually really nicely i'm gonna i'm actually gonna scale it down a little bit though that actually provides a lot of lighting too cool might do another one over here get that indoor outdoor feel you know maybe just under under that area there and i guess we need we need some bins you know what we probably need a door from the kitchen to get out i think because otherwise it's kind of annoying so let's do like a door on the side here and then we need a dumpster oh yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah we definitely need a lot more outdoor decoration too. We've not really got around to that yet. I'm gonna put like this in here. I think that's nice. Yep, do the same on this side. Oh my gosh, maybe a cow. Oh no, a cow. <laughs> a cow topiary. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And then these ones, maybe we could do like a, can I do a chicken in one of these? Oh, actually there's a big sign above it. I should probably not block too much of it. I think maybe just, maybe just flowers in these ones. Nice yellow flowers. Ooh, that's a really nice glowing light. But I think I need, um, maybe do that one above the door. I, was saying, I need some more stuff on these walls first before I get carried away with fully decorating other stuff. Could have a wheel, which is definitely more a ship thing, but we can pretend kind of like a water wheel maybe? No, okay, fine. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> I do want like a notice board. Let's get like a notice board. I think that I think that's a good, a nice community feature to have. Let me get some of these little hanging things. Some of this stuff's actually really expensive, by the way, <laughs> that I'm putting up here. Is there any other? What else do I have in here? Do I have any? Um, maybe I just do like a a blank cow. Do like a small. We'll just scale it down a bit. Is that no? Because it, because it's not. It's technically doesn't fit on the wall. Like when I put the walls down, you still see it's kind of annoying. So I guess I can't do that. We could do a photo again outside just for funsies. Maybe have it here, but we'll do a, a more subtle like black frame or something. Maybe we should do, let's do more missing posters. We'll do one there, one over here. I don't know, I feel like these walls should definitely be filled up with stuff. Hmm, maybe some flowers, that's nice. And then I kind of, maybe like, how about this barrel one over here? We'll get another plant over in the corner. Yeah, just get all that stuff sort of going on at the front. I like that, I like that. <laughs> the cow topiaries. So yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for these uh, oversized crops because I think I don't think they, they they grow all year round, right? It doesn't matter if it's like winter or raining. So that should be fine. I guess the last thing we need to do is have somewhere for our cow plant to live. I guess I could probably fit inside. Could probably fit inside the, the pen. Maybe we could do it like here. That'll, that'll be fine. We'll probably figure that out. All right. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to leave this here. I know it's not fully done. There's still probably more details I want to do around the build, but I think I'll get in touch with Gluon. I'll show him the build. We have a few thousand dollars left, which is good because we're going to need money to hire people because we're going to, this restaurant's going to have a bunch of staff and we're going to try and pump up the number of people we have coming in. Um, we'll see how that goes. We're going to try and do all the, the growing of the plants. I also, as you notice, haven't furnished our bedroom upstairs yet. So we need to get stuff up there too. So that'll all come. Um, but yeah, that is the Burger Barn. If you have any comments or suggestions or ideas, let, uh, leave them in the comments down below. But stay tuned for the next Burger Boys live stream, which should be relatively soon now. Uh, Gluon and I are going to be playing in this brand new restaurant. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.